about closing schools did not start until last November, a mere three months ago. That is, as far as the public knows. We don't know what's been discussed or decided in small group meetings. And if all of this has been thought out and planned so well, then why did it take up until last week for you to realize that you needed to postpone the vote and reschedule choices fair so you could hold the public hearing first? The community meetings, in my opinion, again, were a sham. To simply say we gave you a chance to be involved, the 150-page document compiled with comments and concerns from the community meetings was released just hours before the final focus group meeting. I'd love to know how you expected anyone, let alone people who work full time and go straight from work to the meetings, to have had a chance to actually read it and consider any of the comments or concerns. Budget? You want to talk budget? How is $750 a month for a car on top of your salary budget friendly? That's $9,000 a year. Ma'am, once again, if you would keep your comments, it's, it's not here to discuss staff. No comments should be directed to any staff member. If you have nothing further to say, uh, we respect the fact that you, you let us know you don't approve. Now, if there's anything further, again, please continue, but otherwise, I will ask you to just take your seat. Not to mention the tens of thousands of dollars spent on out of district training and travel. Is all that training truly necessary? I run a family of six, and let me tell you, when the budget's tight, we stay home. I feel that you still have a chance to redeem yourselves and begin to earn back the trust of this community. Stand up for what's right. Begin by voting no on any and all supposals to close schools. And honestly, supposals? Was it necessary to make up a special word for these thank you. plans? Thank you for sharing with us. Form a volunteer committee to keep Please schools open. Up. You have a room full of volunteers here right now. Look at each and every school's Ma budget individually. You. See where it can be trimmed. Our next speaker is Amy Lawson. Oh, come on. Let her speak. Oh, this, 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 no. Oh. Just a moment. This meeting, this meeting is in public. There will be no further outbreaks. I need you to understand. When someone is speaking, it is within my realm as board president to stop them. Again, if you can't withhold your comments, then I would invite you as well, that you may just leave. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, our next speaker, is Amy 